Way down. Um, you know, good practice again today. Um, you know, we haven't had really a bad practice. Kids' attitude is great. Energy is good. Um, finished with a two-minute today. Um, that was solid. Um, you know, just lots of energy and, and uh, you know, just continue to just work on the details. It's amazing. We come out here every day and, and work on stuff, but, you know, there's just more details and more details, so we're still a work in progress. So. What's this uh, Air Narduzzi offense I've been hearing so much about? Don't believe Air, Air Narduzzi offense. I mean, we're, run, we're going to run the ball, Jerry. Don't, don't forget that. <laughs> but we're going to throw, I mean, you know, they think, you know, when you complete a couple passes, it's Air Narduzzi. Um, but, you know, I guess they're not used to ca you know, catching many passes or completing them. We, we talked to Will uh, Gregg earlier, and he said that you and him had a lot of conversations, maybe during the season, maybe after the season, when he probably produced less than he was, he was hoping for. A, you know, what did you see from him through the year last year, and what are you kind of expecting out of him this year? Yeah, I don't, I don't remember a lot of conversations, but um, some conversations. Yeah, maybe some, I guess. But, uh, you know, Will's an athletic guy that can catch the ball, can run down the field, got to be a better blocker, really. That's a conversation that I remember having with him. It wasn't about catching the ball or, or running routes. It's really about blocking because, I mean, you know, you're either going to be a big receiver or you're going to be a tight end. You know, we don't need a big receiver, we need a tight end. And, and he's done, he's had a nice spring so far. Um, and, you know, he's getting tougher in their blocking and he's got to be able to block. And then if you're going out there and they know you're going to throw it, then you're, 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 you know, you're going to be in trouble. Talk with Salim today, too. I mean, a, a guy like him who's been around for so long, played so much, a lot mm -hmm. of different spots. I mean, what, what's his role on the defense? You, you know, it's, you it, for him right it's now? interesting, Brian, you asked that. Um, you know, Salim. You know, I was ready to, you know, I was ready to jump all over him. You know, first few days, you know, we moved Celine back and forth from Mike. You know, you know, he's played Mike a couple years ago, and, and and then we moved him to the money position because we wanted him and Chase Pine to battle for that. And he wasn't playing great right there, but um, so you know, so we moved him back to the Mike. And he's really taken off there. I mean, it's really it's his natural position. He's just better, at least at this point. We still want to get him better at that boundary position because you never know. But right now, he's competing for the starting Mike position. And, you know, we went through, we played three guys a year ago, and, and you know, Elias is, you know, a really, really good football player as well. Um, but uh, Salim is battling for that starting mic position. I think he's pretty good. It's, um, you know, and then, you know, Phil Campbell's working into the boundary a little bit as well as to the field, which is amazing. I didn't know if he'd be physical enough to do it. Um, but not only is he physical, he's tough. And he knows how to, he knows how to leverage his body and play with leverage. So, um, you know, I've been happy with those guys. How Chase much sub package? Chase, no, Chase is outside. Chase, Chase and Phil are battling out for that boundary, and, and Salim and, and, uh, and Elias are battling for the, the middle spot how, there. How much sub-package stuff do you do in the spring, or is it mostly just the base defense? No, it's, you know, there's a lot of sub. Well, I think we put it in day four. So, we, you know, we'll do, you know, quite a bit, you know, get some new wrinkles on third down, you know, um, that, you know, we've kind of gotten the off season. So, uh, we worked a lot of it. Uh, matter of fact, we had two, two nine-minute skellies today. One was all really, you know, sub package, you know, today. So, uh, but no, we work quite a bit of it. Thinking of that linebacker competition you just discussed, I mean, I guess that looks pretty bright then for Cam at the other side. Uh, Cam looks good, but, you know, but Phil can go over there and play too. So, you know, it's just, it's really coming down to, you know, Phil got a lot of work to the field. Then we're like, we're just trying to get our three best on the field. Phil was playing so good. It was like, hey, let's put Cam and Phil in at the same time. So it wasn't the Cam, Cam just physically probably couldn't do what, you know, we just saw more out of Phil when he was in the box as opposed to out of the box, but Phil can play both. He's really good at both, um, you know, so, but Cam's playing good, really, you know, just putting those two guys on the field at the same time is what we, you know, came out of the last week's scrimmage. But, you know, we've got a long time to, to go. And, um, you know, Chase, Chase Pine's gonna continue to work, and he's, you know, he's, he's still a young guy mentally, and, um, but he, he's so much better than he was a year ago. How do you feel like your offensive lines come together? I mean, I know you've kind of moved some pieces around, but, and how important do you, is it for you to have some guys separate themselves so you can start to build that continuity? It is. You know, I mentioned Carter Warren the other day, um, but I think the offensive line is playing well. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm impressed with, 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 with what they've done after 10 practices. I mean, the inside uh, drill today, and I've got to go back and watch the tape, but, you know, our offensive line, you know, ran the ball pretty well there, you know, better than normal. So I'm impressed with what Coach Borbley and, and you know, Coach Whipple have done really with the run game and what, you know, they're doing with those kids. So, um, you know, it looks good so far. You're going to be uh, on campus Sunday to see the reveal and uh, I guess catch the T Pain concert. I will be there. Concert. Who? T Pain? I don't know anything fan? about that. You know? <laughs> I don't know anything about that. But yeah, I guess I am. My kids will probably tell me, is there a concert going on too? Yeah. How important are things like 
that, where it's you know, the association with Nike or new uniforms, how, how useful can those things be uh, when it comes to the recruiting trail for you guys? Well, you know, I don't, you know, I don't think we had ugly uniforms in the past, and you know, um, you know, we have the best. Nike is the best. So, uh, you know, I don't care what color uniforms. Your uniforms could be purple and and and, uh, and, and, and black. And you know, it's it's that we have Nike. I mean, there's no other shoe. You know, I've worn other shoes before, but there's no other shoe that's like Nike. Um, there's there's nothing like Nike. So um, now the branding and whatever we have new, I can't wait to see it because I haven't seen it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you haven't seen it, really? I don't know. I say I haven't, but uh, it's just going to be interesting to see what what you know what comes of it this uh, you know this week. I think it's going to be neat. But Nike's unbelievable. Uh, you know, great to have them as partners. That's for sure. Good.